So last month, I traveled all the way up from Sydney to Brisbane to attend Northside Duology Part 1, which is a one and a half day competition, along with Part 2. I documented all my solves that happened during the competition, and this is the story of my experience at my first ever queuing competition in Queensland. Hope you guys enjoy. <music> Alright, so the first event that I'm gonna do is 7x7 for some reason. The cutoff time for 7x7 is actually 10 minutes, which is the maximum amount of time that you can go on a stack mac anyway. So um, I'm probably gonna DNF it, but we'll see how it goes. I literally just got like a 17 minute time while on a desk for some reason. Well, I wasn't like solving the whole time, but it was 17 minutes. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if I DNF it at all, but um, yeah. Yep. Eight seconds. Literally last layer in ten minutes. If I've gone 10 extra seconds, I would have completed it. But it is what it is. Uh, How'd you do for 7x7? Seven seven? Oh yeah, sub, sub 3 so not yet. Hmm? Sub 3 so. Sub 3. Hey, this is what it looks like in 10 minutes. Oh, oh nice. Let me yeah. solve this as well. Like literally one look last layer. Wait, one look last? No, I, I just do anything. That was how close it was. That was how close I was to getting a soul. Well, that didn't work out. Literally on last. Let's not talk about it. Uh, I have six by six to redeem myself next. Um, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get a time for that either because um, I average about like what like seven minutes on six by six. That time limit is six, so um, it's probably not gonna happen either. But let's just have to see. Yep. So yeah, that unlucky pop and also that phone ringing kind of slowed me down a bit during the solve, which is unfortunate since after the piece fell out, I tried to put it back in, which I failed to do anyway. And before you ask, yes, that's allowed as per the WCA regulations. That's just a consequence of trying to be a nice guy. Unfortunately, yeah, that cost yeah, me the solve. Uh, I'm going to give it under four or one. Right. Okay, right. Uh, 12 seconds. It's a DNF. It's a DNF. Yeah. In a dramatic turn of events, I DNF'd 6x6 six six as well, because I talked 6 minutes and 12 seconds. Both 7x7 seven seven and 6x6, six six, I was so close, it's 15 seconds! And the sad part is, right, my cube popped during 6x6, six six, right, but if I didn't try to repair it, like, if I just left it as it is and just continue solving, I would have saved 15 seconds and it would be a 557 and I wouldn't have been it. So, it's just this what it is, it's extremely unfortunate, but, um, Luckily, Sko1 is next, and I, I know I'm not going to DNF for that because um, I've actually been getting a lot better for Sko1. In Geelong says so long, I've actually gotten a 23.8 second time, which is um, pretty good. So yeah, let's get ready for Sko1. Despite Sko1 coming up next, I'm actually practicing for 5x5. Five five. And um, I mean, it's better than the Geelong comp. I'm actually making cut off. I was still an average of 5 for Sko1. I mean, I beat my competition best, so um. I'm still gonna aim for sub 30 average, uh, but if I get a sub 40, sub 35, like you know, sub 37, I'm happy. Yep. 
eight seconds. Why is parody a thing? Didn't get soft 30, but you know what? <laughs> we got a 24 seconds hold, so that's not that bad. And I beat my PB, so... Yeah, that's... It's pretty good, pretty good. What's going on? I'm probably gonna finish higher than Big Thing himself, so... That's an extra bonus. And as it turns out, yes I did! In fact, my average time was even better than his best single. Sorry I always compare my times with you, Ting Man. I just love your videos too much. But anyway, I had multiply next where I had to try to memorize four cubes at once and then solve them afterwards. Four cubes is actually technically the easiest amount of cubes to be successful at since you only need to complete two cubes in order to get a result and you get the most amount of time at 40 minutes as opposed to having two or three cubes where you also have to complete two cubes but you only get 20 and 30 minutes respectively. Anything above that, you have to solve more than two cubes, so that's actually harder. So I memorized three cubes in this multiplying attempt, and the first cube I did perfectly fine. The second cube, I had a slight execution mistake, and the third cube, I memorized it completely wrong. And hence, I was unable to solve two cubes in multiplying, hence resulting in a DNF. I was certainly very close though. Here's a lunch, or rather breakfast, I bought for myself earlier. I've already taken a bite out of it. I shouldn't have but I forgot to film. This guy is using my DNF blindfold to eat Doritos. Will he be successful? Oh, not bad. Watch him blindfoldedly take a sip of Coke as well. Blindfoldedly closing it back and blindfoldedly put it back into the table. Honestly, this should be a new WCA event. I got one cube done, that's that's a plus side. I don't normally even do get that done, so I just I just couldn't remember anything from that third one. Like I remember the scramble, but like I just there was a letter E in the corner section of that third cube, but I there's not supposed to be an E. Like the E is a buffer, so I messed up somehow somehow. So yeah. It's a DNF. I got one cube done, but it's not multi-blind if you only got one cube done. So, next up is 5x5, five five, and um, the cutoff time is 2.20 again, just like in the last competition. I really hope I can get 2.20, otherwise I am not going to be happy. So 2.20 is my happy score, and if I can get a sub 2 minute solve, like just a single, I don't really care about average this time, uh, that would also be pretty good. So, sub 2 minute single, okay. can that happen? Very easily being sub to. I don't deserve having made cut off. I'm <laughs> 
Okay, so um, I didn't get the chance to uh, record in between my 5x5 five five and blindfold around, so I didn't really get to make a remark, but um, I was a, I made cutoff, right? So I'm happy about that, but I was the last one who was still solving, like literally everyone has already finished and I was still doing it. So I, <laughs> I didn't deserve cutoff. Uh, being in group three, that, that's the thing, so yeah. So um, 3x3 three three is up next and um, I'm gonna see if I can go be one of the uh, scramblers because I've never actually been a scrambler before and uh, for 3x3 three three, I want to want to get that sub 14 average 13 point something can I do that otherwise like I'm happy with a sub 16 uh, I mean not really uh, probably sub 15 sub 15.5 how about that if they got a sub 15.5 I'll be happy let's see how that goes all right about to do 3x3 three three. I have the legend himself right next to me. No. <laughs> Sub 14 average. I'm gonna call it. Are you ready? Yep. Yep. Whatever he just did actually worked. Oh. He got a worse time than me. Oh. Yep. It's a four point oh oh. Third one. It's the third one. It's the one hundred percent the third one. If I had to make my head slightly closer, if I had to make my head here, it's better here. It's this. It's this the third one. I can. I can do it. Whoa! <laughs> sorry guys, sorry guys. I am never letting you do that again. <laughs> no, no. Oh no. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> All the other times, this was making it up. But this, I actually mean it this time. Yeah. I actually mean it this time, that's right. I actually, I actually am gonna get a sub 12 this time. I, 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 I actually am. Sub 12. No, sub 12. Sub 12. Oh my god. Sub 12. Sub 12. Right, what is happening to me? Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Alright, if Team Man says I can do, get some pen, I probably can. So um, let's do this. Are you ready? <sighs> yep. I mean, it's not a sub 10, but it's a good time. Oh, that's a 
brave one. Oh, oh my god, you serious? Yeah, there's one hand. Are you serious? I swear you had it. It's, are you serious? Oh. Okay, I, I did the same. Eight seconds. Okay. Alright, stop 30, I'll take it. Stop 30, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. I should have given that all a while So I didn't get to record a segment I after um after 303 again, but um that was probably the most interesting average I've ever done in my life. Consistency, literally consistency zero. I got a counting 11 and also two counting 15 and an 18 seconds off at the same time. And I overreacted when I did my 10 seconds off, which is like, it was good, but like, it, I didn't have to go. Ah. Whoa. I think that's exactly what I did when I got a 2.93 for um, two by two during the Tazzy comp as well, Whoa. which is to this day, still my best two by two solve for some reason. Also, my best, like, any solve. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, two by two. So, um, yeah, that one-handed was also pretty good, but, um, four solves. I had to three look last layer. So, um, that's kind of unlucky there. I did get my sub-30 average, so that's goal achieved. And next up is clock, which I'm not even going to aim for anything. Well, oh, actually, okay. If I get an average, I'll be happy. And if I could get a sub-20 average, that'll be my goal. All right? I don't know. I just, I don't, it's clock. I just want to get a time, official time, you know what I'm saying? Also, I said my goal was 14 seconds for three by three. I got 14.03 average. You can't make this up. Not sub 20, yikes. But uh, we get a sub 20 single though, so that's which be good. Other than that, that's it for day one of Northside Duology. And um, come back here tomorrow. So that's day one out of the way, and I went to a place called Impressive Dumplings in nearby Everton Park for dinner afterwards, where Ting Man actually recommended for me to eat. If you're watching this Ming, which I doubt you are because that's too good to be true, thanks for the recommendation. I gotta say, you sure do have great taste. It's like my worst ever competitive soul. <laughs> Oh, 
My streak has ended. Oh no. Alright, so um I came late to this competition and um I choked hard on the average. Like, I'm not sure if it's because I actually came late. Because um the first three souls are actually like fine. It's only like the last two souls where I choked hard, so um, I don't know what happened there, but that first solve had a two move cross and a PLL skip for me. I'm not sure if it's for everyone else, but that second solve had a PLL skip and a two move cross and that still only got 13 seconds. Like 13 seconds ain't that bad, but I don't know what happened. I do not know what happened. I think it's just because of the first solve. Like I wasn't even warmed up, so I just, you know, I couldn't really do it. It's the, fir it's the first solve of the day and I came late to the competition and I was nervous and I was like, you know, kind of distraught about being late. I don't know why I came late. I shouldn't have. It's like, I don't know, but I came late and there was trouble. So yeah. Also, Ting Man got a sub 10 solve. I thought I beat him by two solves. Like two solves, I had a better time than him, but he got a sub 10, so I got a, I don't know what I can do about that. All right, next up is Mega Mix. Um, my goal is actually not going to make hard off, right? There's no way. So, goal is 230 solve, and if I could just get like a solve done, then I'm happy. So, let's see how we go. Actually, no, I'm changing my goal to sub 3 single. It's, it's too hard. Mega Mix is too hard. I don't really do Mega Mix. If I could get like. You can't be much worse than me. You can't be much worse than me. Alright, ready. I hate this event. And thus, my journey at Northside Duology Part 1 ends here. There is no Part 2, because you can only register for one. And now that I think about it, should I have registered in Part 2, hey? But, um, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. I did what I can. It's, um... <sighs> is it a good comp? Yes, of course it's a good comp, but... Am I happy with the results that I got? Am I, did I even achieve my goal for a single event? Wait, let me think. Oh yeah, one-handed, that's right. Did I get square, no, I didn't even achieve my goal for square one. Only one-handed. But um, I did reach my happy score for all of my events, but um, you know what? The word happy score technically should be replaced with the word consolation goal. Like, I mean, it makes me happy that at least I did something, but like, I'm reaching for the main goal here. Like, I'm not reaching for some happy score consolation that I set myself. So, um, yeah. All in all, I shouldn't be this selfish and just care about myself. There are a lot of others who did great as well, such as um, Ting Man, who actually got his first ever competition sub 10 solve because of that two move cross that I messed up, but he didn't. Actually, no, I didn't mess up. I just, I didn't warm up. That was my first solve of the day. Literally, first solve, like first time I solved the cube. Like, it was horrible. So, um, in the end, I got freaking 16.23 average. You can't make this up. 16.23. I had an 8, 14 second average streak, 8, and I actually had a chance to break it because I was going to get a 13 second average, but I broke it because I got a 16 average, this is, it's horrible, it's absolutely horrible, so um, yeah, so 
I've come to the end for me. Let's just see um, how others would do in the remainder of this conference. I might have just DNF that song. Might as well. As a Germanic turn of events, I actually made it to one-handed finals. So, and I got a pretty good average, 26.41. So um, I didn't achieve my sub-14. For three by three, I did it in one handed because I'm, um, you know, one handed, half the hands, half the time, and 13.2. <laughs> That's not how it works, but I did it. <laughs> you know, what? I could do my outro here actually. Thank you guys so much for watching. If, if you have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Let's see if we get this video to uh, 17 likes and uh, subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. Turn that notification bell, of course, if you haven't already as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys. <laughs> This is so awkward doing an outro at this time, but um, I'll see you guys all in my next video. <laughs>